Good morning, everybody. I was late today, I got my hair cut. Um, I was realizing something on the way to work this morning that some of the stuff that I start talking about, some of the cars that I start showing you, you're probably not gonna see the whole process or may, you might not even see it finished. I might start talking about a car and you won't see the ending of it. One, because Mondays I actually, I have another business that I work in uh, just on Mondays, sometimes Sundays. It's called Maker's Furniture. I actually have a YouTube channel for that too if you wanna go check it out. But like this week, it's gonna be a short week for me. Um, I'm leaving early to go up to Minnesota to see my family, so I'm leaving on Thursday. Uh, today's already Wednesday. Tuesday, I was over at Glen Ellen, so I'm here a day and a half. So I might not get everything on camera for you to see, but it is what it is, right? Cool. Let's go over what we got going in the shop. This is the Porsche that you saw a couple episodes ago. The customer actually changed his mind. We're actually doing a full expo on it. Saw a couple of the jobs that we're doing a full expo jobs on. Um, so he changed his mind. So that's what we're doing. Finishing out that. The guys started on the Mustang. I'll show you that. They got the front end done yesterday and they'll probably finish the rest of the car today. That's the one with the stripes that they're steaming in. I'll show you that one. We had another Panamera drop off. Um, we're doing C-Course Professional to that, so they're polishing that one up. Jeep got dropped off. Somebody else did the clear bra. I'm gonna take a look at it. Uh, they said it's kind of turning yellow. Not sure what film it is. We're gonna take a look at that. We actually did the window tint on this car a while ago and brought it in. We're gonna do polishing and we're gonna do C-Course Professional on that one. So, another week, another day. Shop full of cars. Life is good. We've been too busy to fix buffers, and I got a whole crap load of them down here that need to be fixed. Maybe I'll try to fix some of these.
Hi, man. What's up? How you doing? Good. How's the Mustang going? Great. We're slowly but surely getting it done. Where are you at? What do you got done? Uh, we just did the roof, the hood, fenders, front bumper, doors, quarters, and now we're putting down the edging on the stripes. Nice. People often ask us why we're a little more expensive than our competitors around in the surrounding areas. And I'm going to show you this Jeep, and it's not awful. Um, it's not terrible. But it's just not great. There's a few things on it that I see. The emblem, they cut around the emblem on the front. I'll show you the film. The film actually looks a little yellow. I don't know what film they used on it, but it just doesn't look 100% right like it should be. Again, I don't want to call anybody out. I mean, this is a decent install. It's not bad. We would have done a couple things different. One, we would have wrapped the edges. There's no wrapped edges on this. Um, we just prefer wrapped edges so you don't have those seams on the edge that can catch dirt and potentially peel. Uh, I like the nice clean look of taking the emblems off and then putting the emblems over the film. Just looks a lot cleaner, it looks a lot better. So my main point was here is, is we charge a little extra because we do these extra things. And that's standard here at Chicago Water Pros. We wrap all the edges that we can. Not every edge can be wrapped, but if it's possible to we'll wrap it, we like to wrap it inside. We like to take emblems off. You know, taking the emblem off and, and not cutting around it. You, you'll see these cuts, they look, they're not perfect. To each his own, you know, he may have saved a couple hundred dollars on this one, but now he's got a front end in that kind of looks a little yellow, and it's just not, just not perfect. 